Hi everyone, we're at Trader Joe's today. The ultimate sensation of a grocery store in the U.S. It's hard to believe that it took me more than 10 years of living here to truly grasp its charm. My first two visits were quick in and outs for just knowing it was famous, but not quite sure why. But today things are about to change because I've got an exciting mission ahead. The scorching summer sun and those soaring temperatures have got me craving something light yet bursting with flavors. Like mouth-watering pad Thai rice noodle creation, I watched some seriously tantalizing videos, and it hit me. Trader Joe is where I can find all those essential ingredients for my homemade pad Thai adventure. I also want to check out their Bath and Body Department, as I've heard so many compliments about it through those videos. Ready? Let's step right through the doors and dive in. I'll start by gathering my pad thai ingredients while shopping through the store, and at the end of the video, I'll show you my finished pad thai. Now let's head to my first important stop, the vegetable department. This is exactly what I expected. There are so many choices of pre-chopped vegetables. I'll grab some. We need crunchy shredded veggies to mix into my noodle bowl. I'm still new to Trader Joe, but I am going to guess this is the paradise where people like to make some quick meals, as it has so many processed ingredients. I'm holding a Mexican style of shredded vegetables. I think it will be nice to use it to make some、um, salad, and there are so many other options as well. I'm also going to grab some blueberries. Ever since I bought a fruit washing machine, which you can check out in my previous video, I've developed a liking for blueberries. I enjoy adding them to all kinds of fruit smoothies that I make. They taste so good. I'm in the poultry section, trying to find some chicken for my pad thai. Pad thai. Can go with other portings as well, but I want the chicken as it's classic, and I decided to take this polo asta as it can help with my very very easy dinner process. I never used it, but after trying it, it's really good. The polo asta goes well with my pad thai. Here I am in the Bath and Body Department. I just grab a shampoo, and you can see I'm picking a soap bar. I got the lavender one. Before I came here, I did some research online, and I just watched too many Only Insider knows about Trader Joe's skincare products. So I decided to try some, and you can see the prices. They're so affordable. I try some products, including this overnight mask. It feels so good. It's refreshing and moisturizing. When I come back, I think I'm going to buy it again. Actually, I tried most of the product that I bought on the day, and they all seem quite good. 
I also grabbed this hair wash. I don't know why I already got the shampoo and this is a two-in-one product. Um, yeah, I just wanted to try any moisturizing shampoo recently and I'm ready to check out. So between the third trip and now, I went back again to buy something else. And at the time, I also checked out their frozen food department. Trader Joe's is also famous for their variety offering of frozen food. I am not a big fan, but the salmon really looks interesting. I wanted to try it out. Hope it tastes good. See, they also have Mahi Mahi Burger. Okay, this is everything I have. We are ready to check out and go home to make Pad Thai. We are ready to make the Pad Thai today. It's a home edition, so it may not taste like the classic Pad Thai, but I'm doing my best and this is going to be a refreshing, flavorful dish. I'll be showing you all the ingredients first. This is the ready veggie, um, the greens and the shredded carrots. I'll be using them today. And now to show you the uh, marinated chicken, the polo asado. To be honest, my hardest work today is to chop the chicken flit into bite size. And the zucchini. Zucchini is I bought to replace the um, bean sprouts. I couldn't find bean sprouts the other day, so I used zucchini instead. And I'll be using the pad thai sauce. This is something I got from H Mart because I couldn't find the sauce in... Um, Trader Joe. The red curry sauce is what I found in Trader Joe, but it's not for today. But I'll be using it to make red curry chicken sometime later. And the rice of vermicelli noodle, I will be using it for today's pad thai. I got it from a local Japanese store. The wheat noodle was what I got from Trader Joe, but again, also not for today. Now I'm ready to start to prepare the ingredients for making the noodles it's gonna be so easy i only need to make the egg and chop the chicken and that's all it's highly recommended that you use gloves and use um, utensils you had from your two go orders i can never finish them but it's so convenient when you need to have a one-time use of the um, utensils and you don't want to wash them. Add oils into the pan. Now heat, out the, heat pan. Out the pan, add oil, and place the chopped chicken into the pan. It's also about the same time you can start to soak your vermicelli noodles in water for later use. So when the chicken is about medium well, push them to the side and let's start to add veggies. I add water to help the food to cook faster. And the veggie will be cooked soft. If you want to have the crunchy salad type, you can choose to add some more add on top of the cooked bowl. Now we're ready to add eggs. And also when the egg is about half done, 
mix them well with all the ingredients and we are ready to add the soaked vermicelli noodles. And I want to show you the pad thai sauce that I make myself. The, the, the bottle of um, pad thai sauce, mix them well with crushed peanuts. And the crushed peanuts, you can just use the peanuts and crush them using all kinds of food processor. Mix the sauce well with all the ingredients. And I prefer lighter sauce, so if you want a heavier sauce, you can have, I think, two-thirds of a bottle of the Pad Thai sauce with more crushed peanuts. It's homemade, so it's whatever you like. I changed my gloves in between. Okay, this is the finished ball. I also sprinkle some green onions. I like green onions. Um, I hope you enjoy. It tastes so good, especially the marinated chicken. This is the video for today. I hope you liked it and um, we'll see you next time.